our first trip back into the parks. We're at a touch of Disney. We just entered, it's about 11.30. We already have mobile orders. So we're walking to our destinations and we're just gonna take you around today. This is Isla's first time at a Disney park and it's so fun. We can't wait for her to see all the characters and yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Say bye. So we just picked up our first mobile order. We got beers and we are at a standing table because you guys cannot drink and walk. So that's fine. They're regulating masks, which is great. And little Isla is here enjoying her map, if you guys can see. And yeah, so we're about to order more food. I think I kind of want the pork belly banh mi and the macaroni and cheese I heard is bomb so I can't wait to just walk around and see like random characters I know Mickey comes out and Goofy comes out with Max so that's gonna be really really cute to see and I just can't wait for Isla to see it um if you guys are wondering what beers we got I got the watermelon one I'll just list it below and then Sergio got the stereo hazy one IPA so we'll list it below too say hi Hi. Are you excited to be here? Mm hmm This is your daughter's first experience. How do yeah. you feel? I feel good. Is it a different experience? Well, we haven't really done much, so I'll let you know in the next, <laughs> in the next segment of... Guys, we found Goofy! Goofy's here! Calvin's here! Isla's here! Oh my goodness! We ended up buying Isla a little bubble blower, and she is loving it! Get it, girl! Get it! We just picked up our second order. We got grilled cheese and the sub sandwich. Look at it! So this is a new thing. I Obviously, Isla likes bubbles, so that's great. But we're here on the door. They actually have the rides on, guys. I'm kind of like low key upset that they're not letting us on, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll just watch. It's getting harder to do. To what? Like being at Disneyland with the baby. Well, with the baby and then COVID, it makes it. I think it's not yeah. bad. Yeah, it wasn't this hard before. No. Okay, so we got all our food Monte Cristo. What are these? These tacos. Asian something something. Okay, the banh mi that Isla destroyed. And then the actual one. <laughs> we have the mini sub, we have the grilled cheese and tomato soup. And we see right here by the pier. We got a hot tip for you. No, it's not the latest speed on the pony. Hey guys, I'm trying the grilled cheese with tomato sauce. Well, tomato soup. I miss Disney. This is perfect. I'm camera shy. <laughs> Damn it, okay. So what did you think of everything, foodie expert? Did you like the banh mi? Okay, what about the Asian street tacos? That was bomb. Like, what would you rate it? Like, one out of ten? Nine out of ten. Okay, and then the banh mi? <laughs> Even though it had, like, I was feeding it. Seven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Monte Cristo. That Eight was bomb. Out of ten. That was bomb. It was unique for sure, right? The Monte Cristo? Yeah, it was unique. That's really good. I like the jelly that it's, was on it's it. It's the same dough that they use for the, uh, the beignets. But what, what was it? Is it grape jelly? Like grape, yeah, grape jelly. Yeah, that was really good. It was different. The grilled cheese and the it's tomato. It's almost like if you like if you like the ham and cheese croissants, it's it's yeah. like a similar taste. Except for it just they just fry it, right? Yeah, I mean it's 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 like like the beignet the beignet uh, beignet style beignet dough. Yeah, it was really good. I took a bite of it. It was really really good. And Calvin thought it was really good. So Calvin thought thought it was good. It was good because he's a foodie. If you guys don't know him. 
will put his little Instagram handle below and you guys can follow him and well, if you don't know now you know <laughs> And he goes to a whole bunch of restaurants, a whole bunch of places, and he reviews them and sets up and like puts pictures, and you guys can see everything. Like, uh, comment, then... subscribe. <laughs> he's gonna be a doctor. They're both gonna be doctors, guys. <laughs> As you guys can see in the background, the rides <laughs> check, check are that one on. <laughs> Ashley I wish we go on the rides. I'm actually too courage enough. I have enough courage right now. To go on the ride. You gotta ride. Like if if they would let us on the on the roller coaster, you'd go on right now. I probably would actually. You what? Have, you, have, you have something in your nose. You would I never would, yeah. go on that. I would. I mean, you go on the Ferris wheel, but not. I would definitely go on Goofy's ride. Really? <gasps> Is that your bubble wand? Can I see your bubble wand? Can you show me? Let me see your bubble wand. <gasps> Wow, is that your bubble watch? <laughs> we are back and we are in Cars Land. Again, we picked up a few more drinks. Little Isla is sleeping back here. We have a fan on her because it is, it is so hot out here. It's ridiculous. 90 degrees. We're just not used to this anymore. Like we haven't been to the parks in over more than a year, so makes sense. Um, super, super excited. It's actually a little crowded. I think if like they had the rides on, it'd definitely be like a lot less crowded within like. It would, it would also. I don't want to say streets, but like walking ways. It would also give us a lot of break time between yeah. like you know. Oh, if we can go on rides. Yeah. Yeah. Out. I feel like it feels like longer longer being at here like without the rides i feel like when you're on the rides you're like going by so fast and you're just like oh i need to go on this ride and that ride and then that's kind of it it feels time yeah but we're still happy we're here and we're gonna be walking around kind of enjoying the pier we still have a few things to go there here's i have a live in the life you got bubbles air you got the works we got her little Sully because she. I listen to Monsters Inc. right now, so. And I love that movie. Yeah. And I love that movie, so. Yeah, guys. All right, let's go. Moving on. The bubbles are so pretty here. Cozy Cone Motel. Cozy Cone Motel. We see Guardians of the Galaxy in the back. We have Flo's Cafe. This is Sergio's favorite part of DCA just because I'm, I'm saying I'm saying just because why is it? Why is this your favorite part? I like the mountains. I like the background. <laughs> snowman frosted treats they have the pineapple dole whip here so that's kind of like my fave so that's what we're gonna get so obviously I'm standing in line with Isla while she naps and the boys are all taking pictures and videos all the way over there they left me by my lonesome but I'm happy I am your wife I'm the greatest good you're ever gonna get
So we left Disney and now we are going home. We are going to have a Asian food night and we're picking up some stuff from a ranch market. We are currently, currently on our menu is yaki shabu, which is my favorite. And then, so we're just picking up some noodles right now. He's trying to find the hottest ones. And they're getting, what did you guys get? Like shrimp, noodles? We got a lot, fish cakes. Fish cakes? We got fish cakes, we got some uh, pork belly, we got some, yeah, uh, shabu shabu. So yeah, we're gonna go home and cook that all up and that's gonna be our Sunday dinner. And it's kind of like what we always do with Calvin, like on Sundays or Fridays. But yeah, so it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned and we'll keep you in the loop. Bye.